So my name is Taylor Bazemore. I'm a second year med student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. And we looked at the relationship between renal artery stenosis and blood pressure. So a little background, uh, back in the 1930s, Goldblatt clamped the renal artery in dogs and found that this led to a subsequent increase in renin angiotensin, aldosterone, and blood pressure. And since then, it's been more or less accepted that renal artery stenosis of any kind leads to a similar increase in blood pressure in humans. However, clinically, this isn't always found to be the case, as a lot of times patients with even severe renal artery stenosis still have uh, uh, controlled blood pressures, whereas other patients with severe stenosis and high blood pressure don't have an improvement upon stenting of the renal artery. So we basically looked at all the patients who went through the cardiac cath lab at UNC uh, from 2004 to 2011 and had a renal angiogram done. And we split them up into three groups based on their degree of renal artery stenosis. Uh, severe was 70 plus percent, minimal was under 10, and then moderate was everyone in between. And we compared them for a bunch of factors including blood pressure, antihypertensive drugs, comorbidities, lab values, et cetera. And what we found is that as you increase from minimal to moderate to severe renal artery stenosis, there was absolutely no increase in blood pressure among these groups. Uh, all these patients were taking the same number of antihypertensive drugs, but again, as you increase the degree of renal artery stenosis, there was no increased uh, blood pressure for these patients. What we did find, however, is that as you increase uh, the degree of atherosclerotic renal artery stenosis among, among these patients, there's an increase in coronary artery disease, peripheral vascular, cerebrovascular disease, as well as prior MI and revascularization. So we're thinking that perhaps uh, blood pressure may not be a marker uh, of renal artery stenosis in these patients, but rather uh, vascular disease throughout the rest of the body may predict vascular disease in the kidney. Uh, the last thing we did was we split up these 70 plus severely stenosed uh, patients with a uh, severe renal artery stenosis into controlled and uncontrolled blood pressure groups. Uh, we tried to compare and see what factors may cause some people with severe renal artery stenosis to have normal blood pressures, whereas others may have high blood pressure. And what we found is that for every category that we looked at, uh, there was no difference among these groups. So for patients with severe renal artery stenosis with controlled and uncontrolled blood pressures, we couldn't find any difference. Uh, including comorbidities, antihypertensive drugs, again, were the same among these groups. So that didn't explain the difference in blood pressure as well as any other factor. So in summary, we found that as you increase the degree of renal artery stenosis in these patients, there's no associated increase in blood pressure, but there is an increase in coronary and peripheral vascular disease. Uh, furthermore, when you look at patients with severe renal artery stenosis uh, with controlled and uncontrolled blood pressures, there's no difference between these groups. So we conclude that perhaps all these patients may just have some degree of essential hypertension and that their renal artery stenosis doesn't have a big effect on their blood pressure.